So what is your favorite backpacking gear? I'm gonna talk about mine. That's next. Okay, so you're out hiking, you're on the trail, it's a long day, and you're, you're wanting to look forward to something when you get to camp, when you get set up, that's reliable, comfortable, maybe it brings some security to you, and it's a piece of gear. I know it's just gear, but when you're out in nature, it's nice, it's good, it's great to have gear that you can depend on that will take care of you and make you happy. So I'm gonna talk about three things that I like that make me happy when I'm out on the trail. Let's do it right now. Okay, so the number one thing that I look forward to is when I'm hiking I'm on the trail, it's a long day, and I really, I'm ser seriously, I look forward to this thing where I can get to camp and I can sit in my chair. It is the REI Flex Light air chair and I love this thing. I look forward to putting it out in a meadow next to a creek, out next to a river, obviously in camp when you're cooking, having a campfire. I love that. But this thing is is awesome. It's it's a little expensive. It's a hundred dollars. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's one pound and I found for me, for me only that one pound and a hundred bucks is really worth it because I seriously, I look forward to sitting in that thing. 250 pound capacity, so I don't have to worry about breaking it. And it's about 11 inches high. And this thing is super comfortable. I sit back, I drink my coffee, I eat, I will look at the stars at night, I watch the sunset. I love my camp chair. It is the number one thing I look forward to. It seems so simple. You could sit on the ground, you can sit on a log, you could sit with a frog in a bog for all I care. But I like my chair. So the number one thing for me is my REI Flex Light Air Chair. That's number one. Okay, so the number two thing that I look forward to when I'm hiking, backpacking, is getting a good night's rest. I like having a good sleep pad, a good pillow. I'm looking at getting a sleeping bag liner that might add a few more degrees uh, in the temperature that I could go through. And most of all, my sleeping bag. I love my sleeping bag. It's a Kelty Cosmic Down 20. And this thing is super comfortable super lightweight for me, two pounds, six ounces, and it's got 600 filled down in it, 600 filled dry down, which stays drier longer, and it dries faster than most other downs, from what I know, from what I've read about it. But it's very comfortable. It's got a draft tube <laughs> behind the main zipper, which keeps all the air out, so it's not just a zipper right up against your body, but this huge puffy draft tube. It's a mummy style, which I didn't think I would like because I am not a claustrophobic, be trapped in this little thing with <laughs> the, the face, you know, like a mummy. It's like, but I can move around in it very comfortably, and it makes me happy at night. It is a three season bag, so I can't really do real winter in it, um, but I think with the sleeping bag liner, that'll help me out a little bit there. But I'm happy with this thing. It came at $179, which is a really good value for a dry down sleeping bag, 600 fill. And it's got the insulated hood. This thing is something I look forward to and it became one of my favorite hiking pieces of gear <laughs> because I look forward to it after a long day on the trail. Okay, so the number three thing that I like and I look forward to when I'm hiking is I hike a, quite a bit by myself. I go with friends sometimes, but I go quite a bit by myself. And sometimes at night, when you're in the woods, in the backcountry, on a mountain, and it's night, eek, your mind kind of runs a little bit or you hear a noise or something, and I need something to make me feel secure, <laughs> to be honest. And I like my headlight. It's the Petzl Core 
450 lumens. This thing is so bright. It's like a uh, it's like a pickup truck headlight and it will just illuminate this the whole area in front of you like a truck. I've come down switchbacks late at night and there's just the whole area is just lit up. I love it. I just feel secure. I don't have this rinky dink $9 headlight with the batteries that are getting low and uh, I got this thing I can rely on. It gives me a little bit of peace of mind. <laughs> it is $69. It's not cheap but for me it's worth it. It is a hybrid so that means it runs on AAA batteries or it's got a rechargeable battery recharges with a USB. I got bring my portable power bank. I can plug that bugger in, keep it uh, charged up wherever I go. 2.8 ounces, super lightweight. It's easy to operate. It has um, just a low, medium, and high setting. The high is the super bright one. And then hold it down for the red mode, which you read with, or try not to bug your neighbors with the light. But super bright, super comfortable, simple to operate, and it brings me a lot of security. <laughs> When you're in the woods at night and you're like, you feel like a boss or something, like, who's out there? I got my, you know, you got your big light, you're flashing the woods, like, you know, like there's a whole team of a SWAT team behind you or something. <laughs> no, it's just me, but I got my light. So my headlight, I love it. That's my third most favorite thing. Okay, so I got a bonus item for my favorite gear and that is I love when I'm out in nature when I'm out backpacking or just hiking I love having my camera but I like more than anything having my cell phone because it's so simple and we all bring our cell phones with us and they pack down really well I don't have to have a tripod I don't have to have uh, telephoto lenses and all this stuff. I just got my phone and and there's a, such ca capabilities with the phones these days, but I have an iPhone 10. I love it. I love landscape photography and I will edit on the spot while I'm taking pictures because it's got this built-in editing software. I've never gotten the applications like special applications for editing. I just use what's in the phone. So I use the brilliance, highlights, shadows, vibrance, temperature, uh, those kinds of things, five or six settings, and I can really bring a photograph to life once I shoot it because of the software. And then I can upload it to Instagram, Facebook, as soon as I get back into reception. But I have a lot of fun, and I really, it's one of my favorite things to do is pull out the old cell phone and take pictures. And the viewfinder, I mean, obviously it's like that big. You're not, you're not looking through a little eyepiece, right, with your camera, but it's just, it's great. And uh, I, I can't do much with um, wildlife because there's not much zoom capabilities or anything like that, but I have a lot of fun with my iPhone 10, and uh, I really enjoy bringing that with me to get pictures. In fact, I'm thinking about doing a few videos on my process doing landscape photography and catching sunsets or getting up early and the whole process and composition and design of how I do my photographs. But I have a lot of fun with that. So iPhone, cell phone, camera was another one of my favorite things to bring along. <laughs> okay, so that is my favorite gear. I wanna hear what is your favorite gear because what you rely on, what you depend on becomes your favorite over time and I want to hear what that is what you guys really love about your gear but also remember that the gear is meant to get you is meant to get you out here that's what it's really all about all right guys thank you for watching I really appreciate it if you like what I do like and subscribe and I really appreciate you guys for watching and as always keep hiking